Hey, this is Max with m and Equipment. Uh, this is our recently rebuilt Seidelman K203 uh, 200 liter bull chopper, m and item number 6628. Um, this is a fully torn down to the frame and rebuilt uh, machine, which includes all seals, bearings, gaskets, uh, full cleaning and buffing of the frame, the bull, uh, new and sharpened knives, and uh, new electrics, which we'll show you in a moment. Um, we'll show you some of the controls on the machine here. So uh, over here, uh, you'll see that there's three different speeds on the machine. You've got low, high speed, and also mix, which is a, a slow uh, knife speed. Um, so we'll go ahead and start the machine in uh, low speed here. And so this is gonna be both low bowl and low knife. Now from here, you've got options. You can go up to high speed, or you can go down to the mix speed here. So first we'll go down to mix, and you'll see that the bowl's gonna slow down, and also the knife. Now in this speed is when you're gonna add your spices, your ice, uh, check and make sure that your consistency is good. Now from here, again, we're gonna go up to low, and then after a couple seconds, you'll be go, uh, able to go up to high speed. And same thing, high knife speed, high bowl speed. Now we're gonna drop that down to low, and in low speed, or in mixed speed, is when we can handle the unloader. So we're gonna go ahead and drop the unloader disc here. You'll see that the disc stops automatically once lifted out of the bowl. You'll hear the hydraulic pump running right now, which runs for about 10 seconds until complete. So from here, you've got stop, obviously. You've also got an emergency stop button here. On the far right-hand side of the machine, there's also an emergency stop button. Uh, and then the other knob here is your uh, lid. So I'm going to go ahead and lift up the lid, exposing the knives here that you can see. Once again, you're hearing the pump run for about 10 seconds. And then to swing around over here to the controls, just so you can take a look at those. So with how we have the safety interlock set up on this machine, uh, the bowl, uh, excuse me, the unloading disc is only supposed to go down into the bowl when the machine is running in low speed. Um, so there's a way to bypass that. Uh, so before we pack up the machine, we're going to drop this bowl down and, uh, excuse me, the unloading disc, you're going to press the stop button and you're going to drop the lid down here. And this is how we're going to leave it for you. Now, when you get the machine, and you turn it on and you wire it up, you're going to have to make sure that the phasing is correct, that the hydraulic pump is running in the correct direction. Now when you get it, you turn the machine on, it shows the power uh, on button here, green. Uh, you will again not be able to lift up this um, uh, disc here, so you're going to press and hold the stop, and then you're going to lift up to get that going. So when doing anything around the knives, you have to make sure to be very, very careful. These are extremely sharp. Uh, but right now, the one thing that you'll see is that the knives, they turn freely. They're connected to the pulley, so they're hard to turn, but they do turn freely. Um, on the far side here, you're gonna see that there's a lever. Um, as these knives turn, you'll see that it's gonna find its way into a locked position. This is when you can use the wrench, which we've provided you here, to tighten and loosen accordingly. Once done, you need to make sure to slide this back out of the way. If you do not, 
when you close the lid, you're going to smack this lever here against the lid and, and crack it. To mention here is that this is an opposite thread. So as you pull up this way to the left, you are going to tighten. As you pull down towards you, you're going to loosen.